Dan, this is the first chance we've had to sit down with you since you penned your new deal, which sees you stay at Vale Park until at least 2025. Just how happy are you that you've, uh, that you've signed and you're going to stay? Yeah, I'm buzzing. I signed it on holiday and I just couldn't wait for the email to come through so I get it done. I had to get my missus help, was like, because I'm not very really te good with technology, but nah, I never hid the fact that I wanted to stay here. I love this place and I just can't wait for the next two years. The season unfortunately ended prematurely for you with the injury that you sustained at Shrewsbury. Uh, but we could kind of see you grow into the, the kind of League One style of player that, that people have been talking about, that they want you to become and what you want to become. What can fans expect from you over the next two years and beyond? Yeah, like I say, I, I just loved playing football and was enjoying myself. Uh, I did feel like I grew into it, and uh, especially games around Christmas time and stuff like that. Um, Basically, more or less, I've got myself fit this year. Like I say, I ended prematurely with that injury at Shrewsbury, which uh, wasn't great for me for the rest of the year. But like I say, you have to get myself fit. I'll build myself back up and go again, and hopefully even better than last time. Let's talk about you and that injury then, because we it's just one of those unfortunate injuries in football where you could never, ever plan. You can never, ever train to avoid it. It just happens. But how are you and how is your recovery going? Yeah, like I say, I, as soon as I landed, I knew I'd, what I'd done. Um, it was one of them things I've landed on his foot and my ankles just turned outwards and there was no pain. So I knew exactly I'd done all the ligaments again and stuff like that. So it was frustrating time, but I've been working hard in the gym with the physio department here. I've been uh, helped along by the lads, Gaz, Cassie and stuff like that in the gym with me. We pushed each other on and uh, I feel better than before now so I just can't wait to get going again. And how important is that to have the players in there with you because I think it's always been spoken about that the team together you're always pushing each other whether you're on the field as the starting 11 whether you're on the bench or whether you haven't made the team how important is that um, when you are going through your recovery? Yeah it's massive because obviously you're all in here together on a morning but they go out to train and you go in the gym so you obviously go different ways and it feels a bit disheartening sometimes when it's, you want to be out there like I said I think Gaz said he loves training like I'm the same I just like being outside I, I'm just booting balls as soon as I get out there. I get told off all the time for kicking it without warming up but I just get excited to get the ball at my feet and stuff like that but it is massive like I said to have people around you not just the staff and the they're like the same greeny Mike who are doing all your treatment with you, you have the lads in there with you doing it all and you push each other on like you do the bike together and you, it's a, you secretly want to win every time so it does help massively having people around you when you're injured. We go into the season with a new manager, somebody that's obviously, uh, we all know, <laughs> he, was, he was the assistant manager last year, you got to work under him but how, how much are you looking forward to be working under Andy Crosby as the manager of Port Vale Football Club? Yeah, I'm really excited to see how it all goes. Like, he was probably the main reason for me signing the two-year deal and staying here for another, like I say, the, another contract to my name here. Um, yeah, I just love working under him. Like I say, his football knowledge and tactical aspect of the game is fantastic. He's, and then again on the personal level, it's fantastic. It's, he adds another thing to his game there where he's, always messaging, asking how you are, how you feel after something, how you feel about this. It involves you in everything, obviously within reason. Uh, but yeah, he's probably the biggest thing for me staying here. Is that key for a football player to have that relationship with the manager? Because you said there, like it's not just football stuff that he will talk to you about. It's not entirely tactics and the next opponent. It's about you, your family and, and, and just your day-to-day -day life as well. Yeah, like I say, when, when it was all going on, he was ringing us constantly, like asking what my thoughts were about everything. Like we had individual meetings and he just wanted to know your side of it. It wasn't like, this is what I want. If you want to know what you wanted, like first and foremost, like, in, and it was all about your life as well. Like, it's not just about football when you speak to him, which again is a main factor for me, like feeling appreciated by someone and wanted by someone, in which I did in these phone calls that I had with him, was a major factor and I just couldn't wait for him to sign the deal so I could get mine over the line and done. Looking ahead then, um, the season starts in almost two months. It feels like a, a lifetime away currently, uh, but we've got pre-season coming up as well. Just how much are you looking forward to to being back on the pitch and going around and booting footballs, providing you warm up, of course. <laughs> yeah, like I say, I just, I just love being in here every day, like coming into this place and being with the lads constantly. It's always a laugh. Everyone, you always have fun, but then it is serious when we go out there. 
and do kickballs about. Um, I just can't wait to get back now. Like I say, it's what two weeks away since we come back. Uh, yeah, I'm excited now. I just like like today. I've come in and it's just a sense of I feel at home sort of thing. Coming down last night, driving down, I just felt like yeah, I'm coming back home. Here. Done. Congratulations. Thank you very much.